Another Western New York mother tested positive for opioids right after giving birth because she ate poppy seeds. According to WKBW, the Lancaster woman that had child protective, excuse me, that Lancaster woman had child protective services called on her. This is exactly what happened to a Depew woman who News 8 told you about earlier this year. And one particular similarity has us asking a fast food chain for answers. Can you see what you're looking at? Right before Jamie Silikowski gave birth to Hunter late last year, she ate bread with poppy seeds from Tim Hortons. Her urine then tested positive for opioids, triggering a CPS investigation, which has since ended. Now we're hearing of another woman who found herself in a very similar situation. WKBW says Elizabeth Dominguez ate a poppy seed bagel from Tim Hortons. We went back to toxicologist Michael Peterson, who says this all could be the result of unwashed poppy seeds that have enough residual raw opium on them to trigger a positive. It's possible that the company could change providers of their poppy seeds or that they could look within the same provider for a washed poppy seed source. Tim Hortons did not answer our questions earlier this year, and they have not done so today. Peterson says as these stories pop up, they can not only harm the people being tested, but could also provide an excuse for an addict. A, a provider needs to be really aware that there is a poppy seed defense for positive opiates and that a patient may try to present that even when it's not the case.